But guys, uh, today we're going to be installing this uh, blue top steering gear steering box. It, uh, it comes from, I believe it was North Dakota I got it from, because the Napa boxes that you get are apparently going to just wear out in two years, and apparently this is just like they advertise they do the same thing as Redhead, which I liked, I would have went with, but the price between Blue Top and Redhead and the reviews on them are very great. So I heard multiple things about Borg boxes, threads, and uh, so they, these blue ones I mostly heard good things about. I mean, obviously there's always going to be somebody that has something to say, but I heard a lot of people complaining about uh, splines, threads. Uh, Ryan there, I never actually talked to him. I just heard guys on the forums talking about him. He looks like he's got everything chased nicely here. Um, no problems with splines at all. Had them nice and protected here. And uh, no uh, no complaints on the box. Comes nice and sealed. Um, so we got, so for the blue top, which I was going to paint because my truck's all red. Uh, <laughs> anyways, you won't see it. So it'll be covered in oil and any time. I hate to do that. I hate driving my truck in the winter because this stuff looks so nice. Anyways, we'll uh, get to throwing this thing in. Um, right now I can see like here you move those. You can't move them at all. And on my truck, you can move your steering wheel back and forth about, I don't know, like you can go like that back and forth when you're sitting there. And it's just not nice. So hopefully this will stiffen up my steering. So, uh, tools you're going to need is you're going to need Pitman Arm Pullers. I've seen some guys use these. I just had a buddy that just bought a set, so it was perfect. But uh, this one right here, I think, is going to work for me. You need that. You're going to need a 33 mil socket or a 1 and 5 16th, which I borrowed because if you're going to be doing this job, make sure that you go to a store earlier or get one ordered in because they will not have a 33 millimeter or inch and 5 16 one store did but you couldn't like yeah you just it was so hard to find one they all had to order them in so anyways I just borrowed one so you're gonna need that uh, you're gonna need what do I got on there right now that is a 21 millimeter you're gonna need that for right in here for those bolts up there, one, two, three, hold your box on there. Uh, you might see that bracket right there. That's because I have the third gen steering conversion. So that is why I have that. Your truck won't if you don't have the steering conversion for the track bar. Um, so that's why that's there. I'll just let you know. And you're going to need a 15 millimeter here. On I got on my drill there. And you're going to need, I believe that's a 13 I got set up there. Under here. So, 33 mil for your pitman arm there. I'm going to drop this sway bar here. And then uh, <coughs> we're going to get to doing the, the in, or whatever you call it, the shaft, that the intermediate shaft there that comes down. But first we'll get uh, the sway bar out of the way. I think I'm going to be able to just undo those up there and let it drop down there just so it's out of the way it's only four bolts there if not we'll just unhook it from up there too which isn't a big deal either so anyways we'll uh, get to unhooking this sway bar and then we'll and uh, pulling this nut here all right so we uh, got that pitman arm nut off it was easy to take off I uh, use the engine 15 16 or 5 16 on it sorry and uh, got that done. I dropped the sway bar down, just there, there, and yeah, it just flopped right down there. It's perfect, and we got a ton of room here now. So I'll grab my puller and start pulling on that thing. Okay, so I got this on here. I handed up the three-quarter wrench for mine. Yours could be different, right? Uh, I torqued on it as hard as I could with this, and I couldn't get it to go. So I had to get out my breaker bar and give it a good torque. I'd say, like I'd say I put 100 foot-pounds on it or so. And then uh, it wouldn't budge, like it stopped. So what I did was just, you take your trusty hammer here. Uh, doesn't matter, this box is gonna be junk. But anyways, try not to hit that. 
uh, hit it right here and well there you go you see that <laughs> didn't expect that to happen so easy so anyways it'll come right off like that it'll all of a sudden you shock it and it'll come down it took quite a few hits probably 10 hits or so good ones and then all of a sudden I just seen it go like this and could feel that I could tighten it a bit with my wrench again so anyways uh, we got this done now we're gonna go to get this uh, sector shaft or mid shaft off, the, off up here so you can see it there so I'm just gonna rotate my wheel a bit so I can get this that bolt facing this way with the 13 millimeter and uh, we'll pull that off and then we'll support our steering wheel so it doesn't spin around and wreck our clock spring which I have a piece of wire I'll show you how I did it so we'll get to doing that so I got this rotated here you can see that there now that's the bolt uh, that we got to remove there 13 millimeter I'll show you what I did with my inside here so we come up here that's all I did right there I took a wire put it around here brought it up to my headliner there and I tied it right around that bar there and uh, yeah so that'll keep your steering wheel in place so we'll get to removing that nut and then we'll uh, throw <clears throat> throw those bolts off and take the box out okay so we got that nut out of the craft there rotated a bit down to here before it locked so anyways it's down there um you can't pry that up because i don't know if it's just mine but my slip joint in there doesn't have enough room to slide it all the way up and then back it'll uh <coughs> it's a spine so I can't go any farther so I figure once I unbolt this it'll slide off and then down I got this tail right here so I figure my power because I gotta undo my power steering lines yet so I figure uh, the lines will have enough slack that I can undo the bolts on the outside here which are the 21 millimeter I believe that's what they're or they're the 16 anyways so we're gonna undo them uh, yeah 21 millimeter so we're going to undo those three bolts there that I showed you. Show you here again. So those one, there we go. One, two, three right there. Uh, we'll undo them and then the box will come down with the steering lines and hopefully it'll land right on that sucker or I'll hold it, hopefully hold it, help it down nicely. Um, and we'll get to undoing the steering lines. Okay. So I undid the top one, uh, and then I undid this one here, and then I left this one. I put my, uh, or actually, as you can see there, um, I put uh, this one, took it out, and then took this one because I could get my impact on the end of it still because of this inner fender here. I could push it up a bit, get it out of the way, and... Uh, I put my impact on here with one hand and then had my other hand out here supporting it and uh, it fell right into my hand. I just got pressure against the frame and then the bolt was out and I just pulled it down. I actually put these boards here and it sat on them. Uh, and once you went forward, so that's going to be the tricky part for putting it back in. There's your intermediate shaft there. It just slid right out. Um, but anyways, if you don't, um, fuck, what do I want to say? If you're by yourself in that intermediate shaft there, you're going to have to slide up in and then bolt it on. So it might be easier for you to undo it up top too. And then you can bolt up the box and then put the shaft back on. But just one less thing to take apart for me. I'll let you know how hard it is. Uh, yeah, so you're going to need an 18 millimeter wrench for up here. Right there and there. You got two lines. Make note of the lines. Uh, this metal one here with the curl in it, it comes in and goes in on the left side. So uh, if you're sitting in the driver's seat, it'd be the right side. But from here, looking from the front of the truck, you're the left side right there, and then the right side. So we'll uh, get to yanking them 18 millimeter wrench again. Okay, so sorry I couldn't really film that. I had the box in one hand and. Uh, the line, my wrench, another one undoing the lines. So there's the lines. Uh, I got the pan out here. It's draining. The fluid, 
uh, it doesn't really look that nice, so I got a couple uh, liters of fluid here that we're going to swap into the system. So uh, I'll let that shit drain out of there. Alright, so it's just kind of dripping now. It drained there for about, I don't know, five minutes and it just stopped. I went and pulled the, uh, pulled the lid off my reservoir up top on the back of your vacuum pump there, or whatever your power steering pump. Uh, and that let a bunch out. Uh, I got two quarts of, or yeah, I guess it is in quarts, so anyways, liters here, but this is the stuff here from the States. It's in 946 milliliters, which is a quart US. So anyways, I got two of them. Most guys say they need one, but I thought, what the hell, I'll just get a second one in case, because I'll be pissed if I don't have it, and I gotta drive to the store to get more. Okay, so it's just time for beer here. Just let that all drain out. Get everything all prepped here. I just want to show you the old fluid. The new stuff I have is clear. Uh, there was oil on the bottom of this thing. I had it all wiped out, but I mean, not really that much. It was coming out that shit brown color. So, I mean, some of it mixed with rust on the nut on the way out, but otherwise, it's out now. So there you go. Okay, so there she is. Um, put your left line over here on first, and then your right, and you should be good to go. Okay, so we're all in there. Our bolt's on. Um, this steering box was actually the sector shaft, or whatever you call that there. Um, not the sector shaft. Anyways, it was flipped over, so I had to put the flat spot. I'd actually rotate my wheel, put it on, and then uh, so I could put the bolt in, and then I could rotate it back. So it's straight up and down in there now, and then I'll be it should be lined up with our index points on here for uh, yeah, looks dead straight on our index points there. It's kind of hard to see for you guys, but uh, yeah, I'll get this up there and flip it up and get it on there. Hopefully, it goes smooth without I tried to save myself taking that joint off, so I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, so she's on now. I really can't believe it, guys. Uh, from turning that shaft back and forth a couple times, and my steering wheel, I had to go up and move the wire a couple times to rotate it back. And so, anyways, I moved it which way I turned it in the beginning, which was I turned it this way, so I could turn that shaft like this to get my bolt off this way. So I turned it back to straight, put this thing up, and the fucking thing went straight on. I couldn't, I couldn't believe it. I thought it was going to be a battle. Because I thought it was out a little bit of a turn up there. It's kind of obscured. But anyways, uh, we'll get to putting that up. I don't know the torque on it now. I think it's like 225 or something to 305. And these are in the like 190 or something. Anyways, I'll post the thing at the end of the video when I get uploading it. I'll uh, post the sheet for torque specs. And I'll post the thing at the front for what tools you need of the video. And uh, yeah, we'll get that on. Torque that up. Or tighten it up for now and then I'll lift up my sway bar here and I put some power steering fluid in up there I put about a half a cord in and as you can see I overfilled it on the ground so I'll clean that up quick uh, so anyways we'll get to doing that bring it up and we'll get to turning it back and forth to bleed out the lines or I assume it's the same as the uh, as the boat that's what I do on boats so Anyways, uh, hopefully that's right, and we'll uh, get throwing her back together. Okay, so we're all back together there, all bolted up. We'll get to torque and that stuff still yet. Uh, so anyways, we're just going to make sure everything works first. So, procedure is, take your steering wheel without the truck running, turn your key on, undo your wire, obviously. Crank your wheels all the way to the left, like you fill up your steering pump there. And this is going to bleed out your lines and suck it down. So there we go, all the way to the left. Now we're going to go to the right once. We'll spin it around here. Okay. So we're back around there now. Um, now I think we can start the truck and moving back and forth with the pump 
on to bleed the air out. Make sure you put your cap on the pump. Okay, I'm just letting some bubbles come out of the system right now. I brought it back and forth a bunch of times and it seems pretty good right now. Uh, we'll go over some torque specs here. So I found the steering coupler. I think that's what they mean where the steering shaft comes down, like your intermediate shaft. That's 36, which um, it's on there, whatever, right now. Um, the gear mounting bolts for the actual steering box is three on the outside of the frame or 140. And that says the pitman arm here to steering gear nut. So that's what we want. That's 185. And then uh, underneath that, we got 65 for the pitman arm to center link nut, which we didn't take off. But if you do, that's what it is. Uh, and I think that's about all you should need to know. Uh, the power steering uh, lines. Uh, I don't even know if it lists them in here. I don't really see it in here, actually. Um, yeah, I don't see them in here. So, anyways, I don't think they're very much. Um, you're going to have to have a wrench that'll be torque anyways to do that, so I just tighten them up. They weren't real tight. Just snug them up as long as they don't leak. I mean, you'll know. Uh, that's just what I'm going with. So, anyways, there's your torque specs, and, yeah, that's pretty much a wrap. We'll uh, maybe make a video here of me driving around with this blue top steering gear box in. We'll see if it really makes a difference from the other box. I hope it does. The steering feels tighter up there. I still got a bit of play, but I, it's in my steering shaft, the one going up to the top. The bearing's gone on the top. I know that. It's It clunks and stuff. I gotta find one. But Dodge doesn't sell any parts and I can't really, can't find any. Gotta buy the whole unit from them. So uh, anyways, Hope you liked the video. Hope it hopefully it was informative. Uh, have any questions? Uh, give me a shout. Um, and like I said, I'll bring. Uh, hopefully, I'll do a review. A comment if you want a review of the blue top box, and I'll I'll compare it to my old one and say how I like it. Hopefully, it's uh, good. Thanks, guys.